Hi, welcome to Inktober Day 8. Uh, today's nebula is the Rosette Nebula. Uh, I'm so sorry that it's still taking me forever to get through these videos. Um, it's just really hard to find the time to sit down and record these voiceovers. Um, most of my free time I'm spending actually working on the paintings, uh, so the videos kind of get bumped to the back a little bit, but I'm going to try to keep up with them a little bit better. So this nebula, um, I really liked working on. I did it kind of backwards. So you saw right off the bat, I put the black ink around the edges. And what I've normally been doing is the color first and then the black ink secondary. But I, I don't know, I just wanted to mix it up a little bit this time. There was no specific reason. I kind of was like, let's just play around and have fun and see where it takes us. And um, I had a really fun time letting the, the ink kind of spread like that and then throwing in the reds uh, around it. And this is actually the first time I've used this spray bottle for this series. Um, normally for that spray bottle I use it just to activate my paints, um, but I wanted to try something a little different and see if I could kind of get a cool spread pattern going um, by spraying it on the paint on the actual painting itself. And it kind of didn't work as well as I wanted it to, but it was still a really cool uh, way to paint. So on my Instagram, I actually stopped uh, labeling these as Inktober pieces just because we're so far past Inktober at this point. I mean, we're halfway through November. So uh, on YouTube here, I will still be calling them Inktober just for consistency with the video titles and I'll probably put them all into uh, one big playlist at the end. So I'm still calling them Inktobers because that's what they are and that's what they started out as, but on my Instagram I'm just, <laughs> I'm still labeling them day, you know, day one, day two, day three, etc, etc, but I'm no longer uh, hashtagging them as Inktober. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I knew getting into this that it was going to take me more than just October to finish it, but honestly I thought I would be done by now. Um, things just kept coming up and getting in the way, and I am farther behind than I actually thought I was going to be. So that's kind of a little bit of a, you know, downside, but I'm trying to not get too upset over it or anything. So I'm adding more black ink to the edges, um, and I really love how this turned out. I like the way the black is kind of just encroaching on the nebula, and that is kind of how it looks um, in some of the pictures that I found of it. And I really like this technique. Um, I haven't really used it since then, but I really like the way that the black ink ended up looking. I'm also doing this one a little bit backwards that I painted the nebula in the background before I actually painted the uh, space girl herself. Normally I start in the center and work my way out, but for whatever reason, um, there, there was no particular reason. I just was very excited about playing with the, the ink wash and the watercolor, so I just jumped right into the background first. Um, and it didn't really make too much of a difference, um, so I think 
there's no real process or no real steps as to, you know, starting in the middle and working my way out or starting in the outward and then working my way on the subject. So I'll probably mix it up again in the future. So when I first planned uh, for this painting, I actually planned for her hair to be more of a darker gray color. And the more I painted it, the more I just really loved how the white uh, was standing out against the um, pink and red background. And I ended up just keeping it white, um, but that wasn't planned. That was just kind of a let's roll with it. I really like how it looked kind of situation. Um, and I'm really proud of it. I think it just looks very striking. So I was glad that I, I changed my course of action and went with what I was feeling in the moment. Also, just side note, if I sound tired in this video and in others coming up, um, it's because I am. <laughs> like I said, it's just been very hard to find the time to actually uh, do these voiceovers, so uh, I'm not at 100% right now. So I'm, I'm tired, but that's okay, as long as I'm still working at it and getting it done. So we also had a not great uh, edge with this one. Uh, there was a lot of bleed, and I don't know if that's because I started with the black ink. Um, I'm not sure if it was anything in particular that I did or if I just didn't tape uh, down the edges very well, but that's okay. I don't really hate uh, rough edges, so it's not, you know, but it's not as good looking as the other ones have been. Oh, and actually, while I was working on this one, I don't know if you can really notice the difference, but I'm using a different uh, white gel pen. My gel pen actually ran out uh, right when I started this painting, so that was very frustrating that the good gel pen ran out and I had to use my uh, Jelly Roll one instead, which is still a good gel pen, it's just not as uh, opaque as the other one. Um, it's just not as strong, so then I'm actually going in with um, the acrylic ink to do the hair wispies because the gel pen just really wasn't cutting it. It worked well enough for the stars, but I really just needed something bolder and thicker for the hair, so I had to do that with uh, the actual ink, which took a couple of thick layers because this ink also um, 
fades a lot when it dries, but that's okay. I still really like the way the hair turned out. I was I was really happy with the end result, so I'm glad I stuck with the white and didn't go with my first plan. Alright, and here she is, our Rosette Nebula Space Girl. I'm just really happy with how she turned out, and I love all the little details in this one, so hopefully you guys like it too. So thank you for watching.